So uh, I've been doing some, some introspection, uh, getting ready for some uh, resolutions I'll never write. And uh, think, I've been thinking about the last year, and the more I think about it, the more glad I am that it's not 2016. <laughs> yeah. Whoever clapped, I'm with you. That year was the weirdest stuff imaginable. The whole time, it was a roller coaster. And like, no, I'll get to that later. Uh, and I didn't realize how weird it was until I had to explain it to people. Uh, I had a bunch of friends who were on missions during all of 2016, and when they got back, I had to tell them what they missed, and it was like trying to explain Australia. <laughs> like, people's phones just started exploding. That was a thing. Like, Samsung was like, hey, check it out, we made it fireproof. But they, er, dang it, ruined my own line. <laughs> They're like, hey, check it out, we made it waterproof. They forgot to make it fireproof. Now it's funny. <laughs> The, the weird thing for me about that uh, is not that I botched my own line, it's that people, people still bought it. Like in the choice between death and Apple, a worrying amount of people chose death. Uh, ha Hamilton got huge that year, which I've been corrected. People told me it actually came out in 2015, but no one cared in 2015. Hamilton was 2016. And there's no, way, there's no good way to tell people about it in the way they would want to see it. It's like, yeah, it's a Broadway musical about the American Revolution, starring <laughs> characters you don't care about. Uh, and, and it has rap, but in a good way. <laughs> uh, Leonardo DiCaprio won an Oscar, ruining an entire generation of memes all the way around. <laughs> and the, the dude almost died trying to film it. Which is weird, like, that was the extent he had to go to, but, like, that's not usual for a white guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Stranger Things came out, we all watched it in one night, the entire world watched that together, experienced it. Uh, it it's the story of four adolescent uh, Dungeons and Dragons enthusiasts who love Eggo Waddle, Eggo Waffle product placement. <laughs> and uh, they saved the day, but they failed to save Bard, which makes me madder than I can express on the BYU stage. <laughs> um, let's see, Pokemon Go was a thing. 750 million people downloaded this phone app, making everything I love in life acceptable for a month. <laughs> and, and no one knew what was going to happen because of this. Like, laws were changed because of Pokemon Go. The obesity epidemic ended in one week. <laughs> And we found, it, we found a weird amount of bodies. Like, way more dead bodies than you would expect. I thought we were done with that after Google Maps came out. But no, no more to find. Uh, someone playing Pokemon Go would go into an alley chasing a Diglett, and then they'd find a corpse. And, then, and uh, then I would feel super bad as I caught the Pokemon before phoning the police. <laughs> That's like one of my big judges of character people. What exactly would you catch after finding a body, but before calling the cops? <laughs> like, if it's a, a Dratini, no one's blaming you. I'm not blaming you, you're fine. If, it, if it's a Pidgey, come on, man. Have some respect. Uh, I'm fully expecting this question uh, on the final judgment, but I don't know what to do about it. Like, if, if God asked me if I would catch a grinder before calling the cops about a dead body, I can't lie to him. <laughs> it's not like it's going anywhere. <laughs> uh, Harambe. <laughs> can't, I can't finish that. R.I.P. Yes. Uh, Harambe happened. Um, brief synopsis, a three-year-old child fell into the pit of a gorilla that no one had heard of in a zoo no one cared about, uh, and the zookeeper did not believe in uh, underdog stories. <laughs> and so he shot Harambe to save the child, which we all got very upset about. <laughs> like, I've seen Tarzan, I know what we just missed out on. <laughs> And, and, like, it took us a long time to get over that. Some of us aren't, you. Uh, like, there were candlelit vigils, and then Harambe became a meme, and then somehow a symbol of police brutality. <laughs> he ended up getting more votes than Ron Paul in the last election. 
and if this was any kind of awful year, that would be the end of the set. Like, that's the climax of the weirdness. Should be. But it's not. Do you remember the clowns? Yeah. Yeah. Tell from the clowns. Yes, we remember the clowns. All over the country, and it's just, uh, more specifically in the Northwest, clowns. People dressed as clowns would just walk the street and be generally creepy, or scare people, and sometimes stab them. <laughs> and this was real. This happened in real life. And somehow we talk about things other than that. <laughs> Like, I guess after, after Harambe and the election and, and, uh, and Pokemon Go, we, we were like, well, this is the next logical step. Uh, but then, people would dress up as Batman to fight the clown in the streets, in real life. How did we get over that? I, I'm really looking forward to 20 years down the road when the BuzzFeed articles are like, 16 things you forgot about that time, freaking clowns were in the street, killing people. And the first bullet point is gonna be, there were freaking clowns in the street, killing people. All right, thanks guys.